Hi everyone, welcome back to Paper Crafter with Paul and for a little walkthrough of my latest project for Graphic 45 as their brand ambassador for 2023-24. So what did I choose to work with this time? Well, I went for the PS I Love You papers and this is called my tag album. And it's a bit different to other tag albums made using uh, graphic 45 tags in the past that I've seen because what I've got are pages made from the tags which you'll see in a second and I did think G45 had um, stitched me up a little bit because my assignment for this month was hashtag mixed media now um I'm not a mixed media person. So I've tried my best. And actually, even though I thought they stitched me up, what they've done is made me try something different. Tried some new stuff. Things I'd used in the past, but onto an album. So for my mixed media project, the first video will focus on just the cover where I've used some mixed media techniques, but still kept it clean and very poor. So I've used some um, oxide spray. So I've used peeled paint to go with the PS I Love You. I used some um, spray, I said. So I used some peeled paint spray, some of the Distress Oxide to make this enamel technique. So you want to watch this video if you've got loads of distressed oxides and you're just looking for other ways to use them, I'll show you how to make enamel looked embellishments using oxides which tie into your project. Um, I'll also show you how I made flowers from the large, um, large tag, ATC tag and flower metal dies set. And inside, I'll also be using the regular tag to decorate my tags. So let's have a look at what we've got. So we've got this lovely image from the papers, one of the sort of like journal card type uh, toppers. I've used some olive cardstock as well, just in the background to mount stuff. These are the flowers I'll show you how to make. And this is the enamel embellishments that also show in the video and then on the side we've used the border paper i've made an enameled um i don't know, label using a cool cat's die there and believe it or not that's one of the stickers from the sticker sheet which fitted nicely inside that and then just some oxide and plain paper on the back so, why is it the tag album? Well, when you open it up, you'll notice they're not just regular pages, but they're pages made from G45 large tags. Now, it looks like the regular size tag, which they are, <laughs> but I've used the large tag, trimmed some off, and I'll show you how I turn it into a pocket page. So here's the bit I cut off on the back. But before we get onto the pages, I'll show you a very um, economical way of working out your pocket sizes in the second video. So the first video will be doing the cover. The second video will be how to do all this on the inside. So all this has come from a six by four sheet of my papers. And then all the tags have been decorated using just two sheets of my IPS I Love You papers. So just to prove it, I still got all this left over for future projects. That is how little I used. And... From the sticker sheet, I've used just one. So there could be more embellishments happening to this one. 
so you'll see this is the regular tag and this these pages are made with the large tags though but you've still got room to fit your regular tags inside there so in the construction video in part two i'll show you how to make the spine i'll show you how to make your papers go a long way and how to make these pocket pages So it's actually quite a simple, quick project. The longest thing it took me was to cut out all the papers um, with the tag shape. So you can see that the papers just match across and I trim off to cover this and it's all reused in different places. So it's a very, very economical little project. I gotta say, I really love how it turned out, especially you might've seen I did do one with Life's a Bowl of Cherries as a practice run as well. So just by changing the papers, we've got two very different feels of paper. And even just adding the ribbon has added an extra little touch to it. So I hope you like it. Now, I know when I opened my Brand Abasta box, some of you saw that I had P.S. I Love You. And you couldn't wait to see what I'd make with it. So hopefully this has pleased you and you're still looking forward to a little tutorial on how I put it together. So I hope you like it. Um, if you do, please give this video a thumbs up. Uh, I've got a Facebook group called Paper Crafting with Paul. So if you just type in Paper Crafting with Paul into a search engine, it'll pop up. And there you'll see um, other people making their own versions and sharing their ideas. So if you want extra inspiration, please head over there. Uh, you won't be disappointed. It's a lovely, friendly group and people are sharing their makes as well. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It really does mean a lot. It helps my channel to grow and to be seen by more people. So thank you for watching. And I look forward to seeing what you think of my tag album. Thank you.